A great big star like Judy Garland never won an Oscar in her career. The breakout star of The Wizard of Oz was only nominated for an Oscar twice. She was nominated for Best Actress for A Star Is Born, and she was nominated for Best Supporting Actress for Judgment at Nuremberg. She didn't win either of them. Oh look, it's Marlon Brando. All right, here's a fun fact. Marlon Brando won Best Actor for the film On the Waterfront, and he won Best Actor for the film Godfather Part One, playing Don Corleone. Now, Robert De Niro won the Best Supporting Actor for playing the same character in the flashback sequences of The Godfather Part Two. And, oh my God, another fun fact. The Godfather Part One and The Godfather Part Two are the only sequels that have ever won the Oscar. Oh, and by the by, uh, Robert De Niro does not have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, yet. Oh look, it's Catherine Hepburn. Okay, Katherine Hepburn is the only actress to have won four Best Actress Oscars. Those would be for uh, Morning Glory, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, Lion in Winter. That was a tie with Barbara Streisand, the only time that ever happened for Best Actress, and On Golden Pond. Norman, you old poop! Haha! <laughs> Kate Blanchett. Now, Kate Blanchett won Best Supporting Actress in the film The Aviator for playing actress Katherine Hepburn. Her other Oscar was for Best Actress, and that was for Woody Allen's film Blue Jasmine. Oh, we're finally here. Now, Renee Zellweger was nominated for the Oscar three times. She was nominated for Best Actress, for Bridget Jones' Diary and Chicago. She did not win, but she won Best Supporting Actress for the film Cold Mountain. The question is, will she get the Oscar nomination for playing Judy in the biopic picture, Judy, Judy Garland? See, we've come full circle. So like and subscribe, and we'll find out next year on Walk of Fame if she got that nomination and if she won. This is Todd Pickering for Walk of Fame Wednesday. I will see you next week in Hollywood.